Good morning. You are now watching News Rider. I am Jai. A 20-year-old alumni of Hinhua High School named Wong Zixuan Wilson started drawing his school compound in Minecraft to express their feelings of missing the school. Wilson tells News Rider he was introduced to Minecraft by his cousin Tan Jiale around 2011. At first, he played in the survival mode. He had to find material to build a home for himself, kill the zombies, and get experience points. First, I play in the creative mode to start building my dream home and then my ideal houses. So after that, I think building houses is not really that um, playful. Lah. So I start breaking, building the uh, skyscraper and then the tower in my city. First skyscraper in my city is the KLCC, means the Petronas Twin Tower. I found it very boring, the MCO. So I think I suddenly got the idea, eh, I really miss my uh, secondary school. So I decided to build my secondary school in the Minecraft. Then some of my uh, junior or senior coming from my school, they know this project and then I, they found it very, very interesting. So they start um, asking me whether they can join this project or not. Until today, got almost 31 person involved in this project. Wilson's future plan is to gain Malaysia reputation in Minecraft as other countries have their own professional team to build their signature building so they can promote their own country in the web. Newsrider hope that Wilson get to accomplish his plan soon. Let's look at the next news. The movement control order has affected tourism sector operators, including Malaysian Chinese Museum. According to the curator of Malaysian Chinese Museum, they have been closed down for 109 days. So let's go to the spot and get more information about it. According to the curator of the Malaysian Chinese Museum, he said, The Malaysian Chinese Museum was closed as soon as the MCO announced even if the Malaysian Chinese Museum is now reopened to public, they cannot hold too much publicity event because after all, it has too many conditions under the government restrictions and SOP. These are challenges for those who run a museum. Mutan 就来自学校的那个预约，可是这些学校也没有办法安排学生过来。还有我们百分之三十五是来自海外的游客，所以现在呢，必肯定的，我们的那个人数还没有办法恢复。In order to minimize the overall basic expenses and to comply with government regulations, the Malaysian Chinese Museum is now will be changed from the original opening seven days a week to only four and a half days a week and are open from. First day to Sunday. 啊，特别是今年年底开始到明年啊，大家呢有只要有兴趣的，多来博物馆走走。我们博物馆呢，随时欢迎大家到来。News also wish that everyone can contribute to inherit the Malaysian Chinese history and culture. That's all for today. I'm Jai. Thanks for watching News Rider.